Hey guys, it's Venomous. Welcome back to my channel, and if this is your first time here, thank you so much for checking it out. I make a lot of animal videos, most of them being about this guy right here, my giant schnauzer, Peter. Today's video is all about ear cropping, and if you should make that choice for your giant schnauzer, and yourself. Now keep in mind, ear cropping is still very controversial, and more times than not, you're not really met with kindness on this topic, especially online. In my personal experience, 99% of the time, this is only from people who have never experienced the process personally. They may just be going off what they see or what they've heard. And this really doesn't help anyone. So I'm sharing my personal experience in hopes that it does help someone. So getting right into it, firstly, ear crops must be done between the ages of eight and 12 weeks for a few different reasons. During this stage, the cartilage in the ear is not yet firm, and so it is malleable, and this is when you manipulate it with posting to get that final result of standing up in the perfect way. It's also harder on the dog the longer you wait, and it's also harder to get a successful end result the longer you wait as well. Being totally honest with you guys, it does change the experience of having a puppy. You have to be extra careful during this time of posting, which is a few months at least. And so this is not for the squeamish, the lazy, or somebody who's not home a lot. The first 10 days, your puppy is in stitches and it's going to be up to your vet if they decide to post the ears during this time. It seems like quite a controversial topic among vets. Our vet decided, yes, it's important to post during the stitches period in order to have a successful result. It's extremely important to have a vet by your side during this entire process and one that is experienced with ear posting and cropping. Our vet actually did not do the cropping surgery on Vader. Our breeder's vet did it. But our vet, he did do the posting process with us the entire time and it truly made all the difference. Vader was cropped at eight weeks old and we received him one day after he got his surgery. This is not typical and this was because in 2020, COVID and shipping with dogs got weird. And so this is something that we were not expecting or really happy with, with our breeder. Typically, when you agree with your breeder that their vet will do the cropping, the breeder keeps and cares for the dog until the stitches are out. Once the stitches come out, in my opinion, it was such a breeze from that point. Now, obviously, it wasn't easy because you still have to be very, very dedicated, but you can be a lot more leisurely with what your puppy is able to get into because when those stitches are in, you do not want those stitches getting snagged on anything. It could be a really, really bad situation if that happens. Once those stitches come out, from here on, it's just a repeated cycle of reposting the ears. This can range anywhere from one to three or more times a week that you will be rewrapping the ears in the postings. We used our vet every single time and I highly suggest that you find somebody who's experienced with posting ears. At our clinic, we only had one vet who was able to do it and so every single time we went to her and she was able to rewrap Vader's ears. After about a week or so of the ears posting, we would give Vader a break and leave them off for one to two days just to kind of breathe. We just used the typical method, that's what our vet chose with the medical tape and popsicle sticks and then there's the foam in the ears. And so again, I if you've never done this before, I really suggest you go through your vet and you have them do it because you just drop the dog off, it takes 20 30 minutes and you don't have to worry about it we just had to keep bringing him back every single time but we did not mind we did experiment with a couple different methods of posting including the hoyt quick brace system although this was much lighter and easier to kind of apply in some ways we really did not like the shape that it was giving the ears it was just kind of weird and different and so we went back to the traditional tape method with our vet another thing i believe that people assume is that the puppy will be in pain during this entire process and i'm here to tell you that that's just not true if you're doing it properly even on the first day of vader surgery he was just acting like his normal playful self. 
The vets don't even give any pain medication to go home because this is such a superficial cosmetic surface surgery and it's actually much less invasive than a spay and neuter which is removing organs. At the end of the day, you the dog owner make the best decision for your animals. I've had people say to me, well, the, your dog didn't make that decision. What about what he wanted? Can you imagine if we let dogs make their own decisions all the time? They would be getting into all types of messes and probably would spend the whole day eating chocolate if you'd allow them to. Don't be scared to ask questions or share your experience because it could help someone who's actually going through it. When this process is done properly, there are absolutely no issues and it comes out looking beautifully, but it does take a lot of time and dedication and I just want to reiterate that it does change the experience of having a puppy. You just have to be more hyper aware of everything that they're doing, everything they're getting into, and just always keeping your eye on them. I know there's people out there who won't agree with that and they have left their dog like in a crate with the ear postings on but we never ever did that. We were always with him no matter what. He was never alone when he had his ears posted so I believe this is something that really helped us get the results quickly and properly. We decided to get Vader ear cropped for a couple different reasons. We do prefer this look for the giant schnauzer compared to the floppy look, which is the breed standard, but we also bought Vader to be a guard dog for our farm property. The ear cropping definitely adds to the intimidation factor as a guard dog, and historically, when they were on the farms as ratters, the farmers would crop their ears to avoid predators who were ripping their ears and being able to grab them. So ear cropping prevents any intruders or predators from biting onto their ears and potentially injuring them. And I also fully believe, based on my experience with him every day, when he is guarding our property and scanning the perimeter, which he does constantly, he does not miss a thing. His ears are going back and forth constantly, listening to every little movement or motion that he might recognize. I do also believe that this helps us in South Florida specifically with our hot and humid environment and our fungus here. I have not had anything close to that with Vader. His ears are always constantly dry and clean. And so I do believe that it helps in that way. Another thing that I always share with people who feel really strongly against this is that floppy ears are the result of domestication. This was actually discussed in Darwin's Origin of Species when he was contemplating why don't any wild animals have floppy ears? And so although dogs are definitely domestic, does every single breed really benefit from the natural floppy ears? This was the result of an embryological mutation in neural crest cells in the ears that failed to move properly. This created all the crevices and folds that we see in dogs with floppy ears. And so it did help those breeds that were always in water specifically. But I can definitely say my own opinion is that I don't believe every single breed that has those naturally floppy ears truly benefits from that all the time. Again, this is really individual to the animal and the owner. And I encourage you to do your research and make your own decisions for your animals. All these videos are a compilation leading up to Vader right at this moment. His postings only were for about three months until his ears were standing up completely straight on his own. This will depend on each individual dog and the ear crop itself, which is going to be dependent on the surgeon. Always go to an experienced surgeon and vet for the surgery and the post care because it's going to make a huge difference that you will really, really appreciate in the long run. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful and please enjoy these clips of Vader as a puppy leading up to adulthood, which do show his ear posting process. And we will see you guys on the next video. Give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you. Bye. Oh
Wait for 